Hey guys, Auspicious Aussie here, and welcome to my newest series on the channel here. We're going to be playing Software Inc. And I have to say, I'm really looking forward to starting this series. Now, I've played this game probably more than any game I've played in the most recent month, which would probably be February and, of course, the start of March here. So, I've literally played consistently sometimes for up to nine hours. Um, so I figure now is probably the best time to get started with a, with a series here. Now, we are going to start with a company name as Auspicious Tech. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, user's name is obviously going to be Auspicious Aussie, as it is, you know, as is the name of the channel. Um, I have to say, this guy looks a little bit ridiculous, so we're going to have to customize him a little bit. Um, actually, maybe we can we can use my other profile. Let's let's just go with that. I like his little mustache there, so we'll just load that, um, and that's all sorted out already. Uh, but we want to what we want to do, sorry, is start a hard game. Now, basically, if you've never played before, the difference between hard and medium or easy, for example, is the fact that you literally start with no money, so you're starting from scratch essentially. And you need to firstly take out a loan, which we'll get into uh, once we actually start. Now, what I want to do here is we have our skills down here and obviously the specialization for each different skill and different process in uh, developing products. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to max out programmer, designer and artist because I mean, really, actually, realistically, we probably don't need as much art. We can have a little bit. But predominantly, we're going to be designing and programming, uh, especially at the early stage. Now, we have obviously all these different skill star allocations. Um, and basically what we want to do is, well, that's pretty low. Um, we'll take one off 2D there and go with one into audio. And I guess we'll do a similar thing there for programmer as well. And finally, for artist, I guess one of each probably makes sense as well. Um, if we then go into leadership. I'm not really too sure about leadership. I've never really delved into it too much. I mean, in theory, you would probably want a level two there. Uh, but then at the same time, I obviously also want... Um, Let's let's go two two. Obviously, the uh, the leadership skills will probably be developed at some stage in the future as well. And then finally, I guess let's go with yeah. I guess we'll just go with support for now because we're going to be our own support team for any product uh, we develop ourselves early on. So that makes sense. I think everything else is pretty much fine. So let's um. Let's pick our map here. Obviously, we're going to start with the garage, as you do with uh, pretty much every starting playthrough of Software Inc. Uh, we're going to drop down, toggle the walls off, and now is the time. As you can see, we have zero bank balance. Uh, we also have zero fans, and we have a one-star business reputation. But in order for us to get our computer, we need to take a loan out. So we're going to take 10,000, which is the minimum loan. Um, and as you can see, we're paying 3.52% interest. And uh, so that's basically going to be, well, at the moment, it's over one month. We're going to put it over one year, I think. So our monthly repayment is 1,200, which is very, very doable. Um, and as you can see, our interest has actually risen a little bit there as well. All right, so we've taken our loan. Um, next, we need to start building and start buying. So let's just go with a glass table. We'll go with a a proper executive chair. Um, I don't have any mods installed. So this is basically the vanilla Alpha 11 version of Software Inc. Uh, and then finally, let's grab our computer. And of course, you have to start with an old computer as we are indeed in 19, 1980. So yeah, there we go. There's that. Now, one other thing I want to do for our core team, we want to up the departure date so they'll arrive at work at 8 a.m. and then they'll depart at 6 p.m. 
in the evening. 6 p.m.? Yes. Okay. All right, with that done, we don't really have anything else to do. Uh, we have to wait for our worker to actually arrive. There we go. All right, now we're going to be taking a lot of contract works. So this first episode is really just about building a, a sort of foundation when it comes to our company, um, building our reputation up as well, because the higher reputation, um, as you can see there, it affects different things throughout the game, such as employee applicants, contracts, and then of course deals. Um, and then much later on down the line, it allows you to own different subsidiary companies, which is pretty cool. I haven't really gotten into that either too much. Um, so there are a few things I want to do, um, a few new things that I'm not really well versed on. Uh, but let's start off with here and we're going to just grab a couple of contracts. So we'll grab both of those. Bump up their importance there to 10. And uh, hopefully we'll get started. We'll make some money. All right. As you can see, it's pretty much that simple. Just taking our contracts. I mean, three bugs, that's good enough. So there we go. As you can see, we're making money through these contracts. Uh, you do get a sum up front. And as you can see with, uh, well, apparently we've got outstanding quality, which is interesting. Um, yeah, 6,200 and just over 6,000 for the other one there as well. As you can see, we're going to be able to build up a lot of money. Um, but where things start to get a bit dicey is when you decide to develop a product. So yeah, let's just advance to the next day. Um, we'll grab a couple more contracts here as well. Um, so that one's horrible. That's pretty good, actually. At this, well, at such an early stage, both of them being horrible is actually pretty pretty beneficial because, I mean, you probably don't even need to iterate them that much. Again, we're probably just aiming for, for two contracts per day. And again, we're just going to go with another two. Now, this time we'll go with a logistics application as well. So we'll bump those up to 10. And uh, we'll get started on those ones as well. So we're at just under 40,000. What we want to do is probably get to at least 200,000, I would say. Uh, and then I think we want to put maybe... I would say 100,000, maybe 150,000 into the savings account so we can start to earn some interest uh, because interest is going to be very important and um, I need to pay a bit more attention. Yeah, interest is essentially what's going to probably pay for our first employee or at least it's going to cover our bills. If we have a look at the finances here. As you can see, we're making a, a decent amount of money. Uh, but we do have maintenance costs. We've obviously got the bills. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to do some repairs on the computer. Um, and once we get an employee, we're going to have to hire a cleaner as well to actually come in and to clean up the joint. Otherwise, employees, you know, they can get pretty upset about that type of stuff. So again, we're just going to go with a couple more contracts. All right, we'll try and get another two. And we'll try and finish them both this month. I think that'd be pretty beneficial. All right, there we go. I want to try and be quick with these ones and make sure we can get them done in this month. All right, there we go. That should be good enough. As you can see, our reputation just went up there a little bit um, due to our contract work. So 
that's what we're looking for. I want to try and hopefully get at least three stars. I think that'd be pretty, pretty beneficial. Um, so let's advance to the next day. All right, so the contract prices or income that we're going to get are starting to go up. However, these are game assets. Now, because I'd lowered our art, I don't think going for game asset contracts is going to be intelligent for us. And they also want good, good quality over the space of one month. So we really don't want to be doing that. We probably want to stick to logistics applications and then I think embedded, embedded systems as well. It's definitely where we want to try and make most of our money. Eventually we'll be getting, we'll be getting better contracts worth more money. So So we've almost got our first 100,000 in the bank, which is good to see. And um, we'll probably put most of that into the actual savings account. So, so we can start generating the interest um, as soon as possible, if that makes sense. Just a little bit of like extra money for the company to be able to generate. As you can see, the contracts are starting to get a little bit harder and the minimum they sort of want is starting to go up a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, 36,000 for this contract and it's going to take two months. Well, essentially they're giving us two months to actually complete it on time. Um, so we're going to accept that one. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but realistically, I think we should be fine. And that's a, it's a pretty decent payday. So we'll get this contract done. Then I think we'll add our money to the savings account. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to see about a month after that how much interest we'll actually be able to generate. Because I would like to try and get an employee relatively soon. And I say that because I would like to start developing our own products as soon as possible. The sooner we can get on the market, the sooner we can make a name for ourselves. All right, so this does actually involve a little bit of art, uh, but it seems like we're actually handling it pretty well. Now let's have a look at the computer. So the computer's at 61%, um, and I think that might, after this contract, we might actually get the, uh, the IT crew to come and have a look at it. All right, so there we go. It is due this month. So we'll we'll let it go to the uh, the end of the day. Fix a, a few bugs. They might, we actually, I think we do get a bug fixing bonus as well. Okay, so it wasn't great. I think they expected maybe mediocre quality. Um, and I think we gave them inadequate. So not the greatest in the world, but still another 11,000, even though we probably would have made more money doing two separate contracts. Anyway, let's deposit some funds. So let's deposit 100,000 straight up. All right, so there we go. So that's not gonna be released for a whole year, um, but as you can see, it will accrue interest, which is what I've been talking about for the last probably five or so minutes. Now, we do need to just continue with the contract work. Like I said, I would really like to, to try and get mm. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do a we'll try and do two higher valued contracts at the same time. Ooh, I said I was gonna get uh some staff in, didn't I? All right, so we'll call IT support. They will come in. Well, I thought they would have come in, but they're actually sitting there and I'm assuming that's costing us money. Interesting. Never really seen it do that before. So we just paid for that guy to come. Um, however, he didn't actually do anything. 
So I guess we'll have to call another one. I mean, it only cost us, what, maybe $100 because he didn't actually repair anything, but... A little bit strange. Anyway, there we go. So the computer's fixed now. Both of these contracts are actually due, so I might just develop where they are. Because they're due this month, so... And as you can see, they both have art involved in them as well. Might have bitten off more than I could chew. As long as we can get to the minimum... Okay, I think that's just going to have to be good enough. A little bit lacking in regards to how much they were sort of expecting, or we were expecting to get. Now, let's have a look. So we're starting to get interest, $165 uh, per month there. Which seems pretty good. And uh, I think, yeah, we've just paid off our loan as well for the first year, so we're not going to be losing $1,231 per month either now, so I'm wondering, I mean, we've still got a little bit of, yeah, so the bills are 380 so we want, ideally, to try and get that interest up to 380 Alright, let's take some more contracts. Let's just go with, um... I mean, I do like to try and go for the uh, the lowest quality, so. Let's just go with that one. We'll, we'll, go, we'll just go with one contract, because these ones are pretty highly valued. And uh, we sort of bit off more than we could chew with the last one. Now, in regards to the products we're going to be developing... I would like to obviously develop games, you know, probably would be the number one product or software product that I want to push. However, I also feel like we need to set up systems or software for ourselves in order to potentially get the best out of our games as well. And what I mean by that is we want to... We want to try and make sure that we can have solid 2D editors and audio editors to uh, to be able to get the best out of our games, like I just said. So with that being said, I think I might go with a 2D editor to begin with um, as sort of our base product that we're going to be implementing with sequels. Uh, once we you know start to actually turn a decent profit, We'll obviously move office. I think I want to go straight to... I'm not sure if I want to go straight to the plot of lands. Where we can actually do our own stuff and build our own office and stuff like that. Or if I should go to the apartment first. Uh, which is a big apartment building that you can basically build your office out of. I'm not sure if that will happen in this first episode. We'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty, so we're getting up there again. We're up 73,000 in our balance currently. Go with another embedded system. This will probably take us both months to complete. Um, we do need to try and get mediocre quality. I'm not sure if changing the priority actually does anything. I kind of feel like it doesn't. Anyway. I think that should be good enough to get mediocre. As you can see, we're getting very close to our third star for our business reputation. So there we go. We're just about there. But we do still need to do a few more contracts. Um, logistics is perfect. 
I'm wondering if we can do... Let's try and do two. Um, we'll make... We'll make the first one a bit higher in priority. As we probably... That's the, the more difficult one, so... We'll do that. Computer's at 70%, so we need to keep a bit of an eye on that as well. Alright, actually we might, um... Let's call IT support right now. Get them in straight away. Because this contract might be a little bit touch and go with this uh, this smaller second one as well. All right, so we'll finish that one. Uh, and this one's going really quick, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. Now we probably don't want to start another contract. That'd be a bit silly. Let's advance there. Um, we're almost getting to the point where we will start developing our own product, our own piece of software. So let's go with this logistics, and then we'll go with this one as well. It should be perfectly able to get both of these done. They're both bad quality expected, so what I like to see. One's obviously a little bit easier than the other. have a look we might actually go for another one uh, there's not not really any good contracts there um so let's just advance and we'll get this logistics one completed as well all right develop it as you can see that the 2d is going extremely slow um, so we're definitely going to need to get an artist in at some stage. Alright, so we've got a logistics application here. Expected quality is good. Do I want to... Let's, let's just go for it. I think, I think we're definitely going to struggle with it. There's actually better contracts up the top there, as you can see. Um, but these ones... Probably going to be a little bit too difficult for us as we just got our third star for our business reputation. Yeah, they're probably a little bit out, out of our wheelhouse. You need sort of four employees at a minimum, I would say, to get some of those big ones done. But I'm happy that we, we got our third star because it, it opens up a lot of different things and a lot of better quality workers that we'll be able to get. So I'm happy with that. All right, so the iteration's done there. Still do have a couple of months left to get this one complete. Computer's still at 80%, which is great. And we actually have the chance to educate our guy. Now, do we want to go for three-star system or two? I think 2D is probably more important. Because like I said, our first software product is probably going to be a 2D editor. So I think that's going to be more important, at least for this uh, this early stage. I would have loved a, another point in program. Oh, that's overdue. That was a bit silly by me. I didn't actually... Yeah, we could have actually released that on time. But I, for some reason, I assumed that we had an extra month. Anyway, we'll do one more contract. Uh, let's go with this 21,000. Now, it seems like it's going to be pretty difficult. However, the quality expected is bad, so... I mean, the fact that we're starting off in the middle of the day doesn't exactly help either. But 
But I think we should be fine. Let's just iterate there. Or develop there, I should say. It's pretty high. What's the... 60.3%. That is... That's up there. Um, but we're going to get there anyway, so that's fine. Alright. There we go, finish that, and we pretty much get the, the full amount of money as well. So, with that being said, we now have enough money to put another another 100,000 into the bank. Which we will do. That's going to accrue more interest for us. And what we can do is take out the first 100,000. So there we go. As you can see, the 2,500 is the interest that has been generated by keeping that first 100,000 in the in the bank in the savings account. Now, now we have a bit of a dilemma. Do I want to try and hire another employee or do I want to try and start the product which is going to be the 2D editor like I said. Uh, we we'll probably have to do a little bit of looking around um obviously we're not going to be marketing it ourselves uh which is pretty beneficial because a company is going to be spending probably hundreds of thousands if not a couple of million actually marketing our crappy product uh, but at the same time doing that it means we have to to run on a deadline so our product has to be essentially has to be released by a certain date or very you know very close to that date now, what we want to do is, are there any existing frameworks? So there are. Now we could use an existing framework. This one has the lowest royalty. Let's have a look at that. Um, at the moment, unfortunately, we can't actually do any two star 2D graphics because we don't have two star Okay, so that's capped there with the framework. All right. So at the moment, we can only do those two for the framework that we're currently on. And I'm curious, if we're not on the framework and we decide to make our own, it's going to take two years. So it speeds it up by about a year, which would be massive. As you can see, it's recommended to have four programmers. That's why I'm saying we might actually need another employee. I think we should go... Let's not make a new framework. Let's just go by ourselves. Okay, that's going to take two years. I don't really want it taking two years, if I'm being honest. And that's two years with these recommended designers, programmers, and artists. I think we're going to have to keep the quality low. I think, actually, we're going to have to use a framework. I guess we'll go with the less or the lower royalty payment uh, because that's going to... Actually, existing frameworks is going to cost us way too much now that I'm thinking about it. Let's just go for our own quality of product. I'm just going to try and find a... Well, I wanted to try and find a, a bit of a happy medium. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's two years. Let's go with brush stroke smoothing and then text rendering as well. It's only 33% expected interest, but at the same time, we kind of just need to get a product out at the at the moment you know to start the company so we'll go with that I wonder if we get rid of that no, it's lower okay what systems do we want it on I mean we can always port afterwards by the time it's done these two 
these two operating systems here are probably going to be the only two that are going to be popular. So I'm going to think ahead and um, we're actually going to remove next view and we're going to add let's just go by release. It's probably a bit easier. So we'll add these two here. So next view and pen flash, as you can see, they're both just recently released last or well, the end of last year, which was what four months ago. And um, as you can see there, they're starting to, to get their users up there to match their predecessors. So we'll do that. Um, I mean, yeah, moving it around is not really doing anything, is it? So we'll pretty much leave it how it is. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll get a publisher on it as well. It's going to take 13.1% royalty out of our sales. I assume that's how that works. That's how I always think it's been working anyway as you can see we're on a deadline for april of 1983 so that's a year and a month which is not great and i didn't i actually exited out of that so give me one second and i'll fix all that back up in um we are doing there we go my bad Sometimes I always do that. Why is that higher price now? Interesting. So let's let's make that a bit more then. Let's go twenty let's go twenty-eight. I always like to put it at slightly lower than what is uh what is recommended. And then we'll get our publisher back on it. It's actually gonna be for May, so that actually works out a little bit better for us. And we need a name. Let's go for a generic name, ImageScape. I mean, it works. Let's develop it. I think we'll maybe just try and do one iteration. And I just want to double check. When is our next computer coming in? 1990 for a 90s computer. Okay, that's fine. Really not too long. All right, so as you can see, we're gonna to start to lose a little bit of money. But it's really not gonna to be too bad because we do have that little bit of interest coming in. I mean, we could do contract work, but at the same time, I kind of just wanna focus on ImageScape and getting our first software product on the market. We're just past halfway in our iteration, our first iteration. We're getting there. Like I said, we're just going to do one iteration of it. Our 2D is letting us down at the moment, which I thought was going to be a bit of a problem. At the same time, you know, we're still doing really well. Essentially got 250,000 company value at the moment. All right, there we go. So we're into, well, we're into August now. And we're just starting to develop it. So it's actually going pretty fast. And I think I'll probably, we'll get a IT support in as well to fix up the computer at 54%, so we'll do that as soon as the day finishes. There we go. So that'll be fixed for the next day. 22 followers for ImageScape, which is, it's not too bad for our first product. It's obviously gonna be a bad product. Still earning the interest there. We might actually put this other 100,000 because it's looking like we're pretty safe at the moment. So we'll deposit that in as well. I think we'll be fine. I mean, we still have what another six months left. The only real problem is going to be support for ImageScape. So we might actually hire our first worker might be a support worker. 
purely for image scape. Um, so that'll allow our character to to actually be able to continue developing maybe I, I guess a a sequel to Imagescape as well. It's definitely doing well though. It's actually quite fast. I didn't think it would be this fast. I mean the product itself isn't exactly great, but Oh, we also have a skill point, so let's pause it there for a second. This is gonna, each education is basically a month off, so we have to take that into account. So it's December now, so we're gonna skip January in order for us to gain another point. However, another point on 2D is probably gonna be more beneficial than, you know, waiting until after the product's been developed. We just have to wait and see. So it'll go from December to February. But that extra point of our education or extra point in programming is going to be going to be really good. So there you go. We're into February. Need a release in May. So I want to get a really good product, or at least a great product, I think. At least good. A good product would probably put us in the, uh, in the right position going forward. All right, so we're getting there into the 90 percent. Art is lacking a behind a little bit. And we're essentially a month away. So at the end of this, the end of this month, we're going to have to promote it. I was hoping we'd be able to get 100 percent. But that's perfectly fine. So we're going to have one month to actually... Alright, so we're going to promote it there. We'll do one month of beta, fix our bugs. Or fix some bugs, I should say. And then we'll get it released. And like I said, we'll hire a support worker as well. All right, so we'll finish it there. We need to buy some copies. Let's let's go with five thousand off the bat. That's pretty pretty expensive. Pause it there as well because we're gonna first of all make a new team. We we'll just call it support. Pretty simple. Get them there. Chuck their vacation to twelve months. We'll do the same there for the core team. And we need to hire an employee. Now. I guess we can go with a high salary. It's going to be really expensive if we decide to go for a full search. That's 9,000. Let's go midway. We'll go about 5,000. I mean, there is a four-star worker right there who actually has good compatibility uh, with Auspicious, so. Question is, do I want to go for him or do I want to go for someone a little bit worse but gets on better? I think we might go with the four-star. Super expensive, though. Actually, we'll go with this guy. So, 3,300. We'll hire him. So, he actually went into the core team. So, we'll swap him over. So, Dolores. Uh, we'll change her role. Actually, we'll leave her roles for now. That's fine. I'm going to go over to the support team. And we're going to need to buy a setup for her as well. We're also going to need to clean the floors. 
Um, so let's put her closer to this door over here. Uh, we'll get her a phone there as well. We can actually get a calculator there to boost the programming skill for my character. Now, what else are we going to need? We're going to need probably need a light. So we'll chuck a light there and maybe we'll chuck that there. Just a divider to hopefully drown out a little bit of sound. We can invest in a few more things. Um, hopefully after we get a few sales, that'd be nice. All right, so let me let me actually assign this to Dolores. And finally, we'll hire a cleaner as well. Do we need... Yes, well, I guess we'll get IT support as well. All right, so there we go. All right, so I think we sold eight copies, which is really not good for our first product, but... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's probably to be expected. As you can see, the profit is the essentially the money that we put into the product, uh, along with the marketing company, which is Doc Breeze. So they've put in about 500000 which they're probably not going to see back, because I don't really think this product's going to be profitable at all. It's fine, though. It's fine. We're going we're gonna to develop our own framework soon, which will hopefully net us a little bit of money in, uh, in, certain, other, in certain other ways. Okay. Let me assign that to the support team. And then we need to get my character, the core team, developing something else, I guess kind of makes sense to maybe just do a sequel straight away. Um, and this time I think we'll try and do our own framework. So we'll do the IS IS1 ImageScape Framework 1. Kind of, it sounds good enough I think. Now, in order to get it out, so it's going to be the exact same, basically. It's going to be brush stroke and then text rendering as well. A little bit higher, expected interest. Let's have a look. What computers are we actually going to put it on? Kind of just makes sense to do next view for now. So I think we'll leave it just as next view because we want, we want the product to get out. Uh, the sooner it, get, it gets out, other products might use it as their framework, so we'll gain royalties that way. Kind of a an interesting way to make money. It's, it's, it's pretty hard, the difficulty that we're on. It is hard to actually make money. So I think we'll go with that. Again, we'll have a marketing agency. So they want it August of 1984. I think that's fine. So we're paying 17.5% royalties, which is a lot of money. But like I said, it, it'll, it'll be pretty good once we actually get our own framework. And it will actually speed our future products up as well. All right, well, let's see where this second month takes us with our product. It's looking like it might have actually done worse. It, it, it did. We made less money in that second month. And we actually spent 10,000 on copies. So that was a bit of a mistake by me. We're probably not going to see that money back. I guess the only other question is, can we port it to anything? I mean, we can... But the real question, is that going to be beneficial? I don't think it's going to be beneficial. It's not really going to sell any more products. Yeah. Anyway. 
we'll keep going. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone on support today because Dolores is either caught in sick or she's on holiday. So there's going to be a, a bit of a queue going for ImageScape. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of different issues and bugs with it. So she's actually getting pretty upset there. What's her problem? Her satisfaction is really low. All right, well, what we might do... It's really difficult because you can't really have more than one team in a room. So that's going to be another 180 for our bills if we decide to get that room instead. And the only other thing we can do is to actually move her to the core team. This is what I did last time. I had to do this last time as well, but so we have that empty. And then basically what we're going to do is bump the priority up for that. So they're both going to be covering these teams, which, uh, which makes sense. And now they're going to be in the same room together. So that is obviously going to help as well. Uh, we might actually build. Let's chuck some more cubicle walls on here for her. Hopefully drown out a little bit of the sound around her. And then I think we'll let's go with a plant as well. A standing plant right next to her. That might cheer her up a little bit. Hmm. So we'll go with that. As you can it's improved her mood a little bit. As you see, satisfaction's gone way up, so it's working. All right. I mean, the only problem is the, the queue isn't really going down too fast as a result. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap up the, uh, the first episode here, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know by dropping a like on the video if you're excited to see more of these episodes coming out soon. Also, drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the series. Um, because I'll try and bring bring some different elements to it. Like, I haven't... I've slightly gone into researching. Um, didn't really do much for me when I did it. Uh, but there are other things as well. Uh, like, we have servers. Never really delved into servers too much. Uh, and then, of course, there, there's a few other things. Like, obviously, you can buy stocks in different companies. Uh, we actually look like a, a pretty good company to invest in at the moment. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different things. Uh, obviously, there's also uh, the whole uh, dis distribution, so printing copies of products. Um, I've literally done nothing with printing before, so throughout the series, I think we'll probably develop our own warehouse uh, for printing and distribution and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know down below. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and... I hope you take it easy.